Hi, I'm Sarah Riggs. I'm a poet, the translator of Etel Adnan's book, Time. I'm in my backyard in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm very honored to be reading here today with Poets House Presents. This sequence, like all the sequences in the book, manages to maneuver simultaneously between the abstract, between time and the oceans, places like Greece, where Etel's mother was from. It also manages to stay very grounded in very concrete specifics. I have had a long friendship with Etel. We've been working on this book for 12 years together, and she helped with the translation, as did uh, Jeremy Robert and Alicia Mascaranis and Cole Swenson. Translation is often a collective act this one's called Return from London. Etel is reading as much as she can in original French. She's in her 90s. Retour de Londres. Je perçois au passage une fêlure dans la texture du jour. Le nombre des marins diminue. La mer attend la fin du vivant. Je vais bientôt prendre le train, puis entrer dans le mur couvert de vignes rouges. Il n'est pas question de descendre dans le jardin. Il faudrait que le temps nous quitte. Méfiez-vous des couronnes d'or sur la tête. L'enfer n'est pas l'unique propriétaire du feu. On appelle histoire le puits rempli d'organes. Cet arbre est lié à son ombre. La malédiction est un bruit, une séparation, un regard qui se ferme, un coup reçu à la tête. Certains objets meurent avant nous, avant hier, des maisons croulées la fraîcheur manque à cet été. Le pain a manqué aussi, entouré de prospérité. La navette spatiale a un trou dans le ventre. Return from London. I perceive in passing a crack in the texture of the day. There are fewer and fewer sailors. The sea waits for the end of the living. Soon I'm going to take the train, then enter the wall covered with red vines. It's not a question of going down into the garden. Time should leave us. Place gold crowns on your heads Hell is not the sole owner of fire. We call history the wells brimming with orgasms. This tree is full of its shadows. Malediction is a curse, a split, a look that shuts, a blow to the head. Some objects die before us. Pre-war, the houses would collapse under the furniture. Freshness is missing this summer. Bread is missing also, surrounded by prosperity. The space shuttle has a hole in its stomach. Thought derailed from the first instant. I told you, go to the mountaintop where there's nothing left to be seen. Fever took hold of time. Light is astonished by its own brightness. Thus begins the final question. What have I done with my childhood? Attention has its origin in an impalpable fog. Rainy days, we become plants. Don't lose this need to exist, which precedes birth. History is born in immaterial places and follows fate. Love is the subversion of death. Our survival depends on the capacity of the real to escape the assault of language.
laziness, with its inebriating effects, is the wine of the poor and of those who wander among them. There are loves that grow like cancers. We attach ourselves to them like the body to its illness, the moon to the earth. We preferred absence, pain and silence to the frantic need to see you. We are going to pay for it for the rest of eternity. I would like to reflect like a buoy thrown out from the depths to the luminous mortal surface of the sea. Know that Greece is itself a theater. It's there that thought got up on stage and blinded us with its transparency. That's where we went without the powers knowing in a lost youth with illegible landmarks and empty hands. Then the storm came. The wet boats on the drenching sea exchanged expertise. While we hung on to the precariousness of our rooms, to the moldy words of the Father. And then, after a multitude of hours of fatigue, of departures, we pretended we were living, and the young wait on some beaches for the sun to repeat itself. They want to leave, to die elsewhere like forest animals. Family is the mother. She knows she is the origin. She gave the coming death. Life she kept. She swells at a glance. Don't break the young girl's hearts. You'll take the train of exile. Bread will be hard under your teeth. Me, I waited to grow up and suddenly love burst in the middle of the street. I received some of its mortal blows. That very person disappeared. Sexuality penetrates us with its vertical descent. Sometimes it holds off its satisfaction until later, hits the wrong target. There are beds in the hospitals that keep their clients, dams that disturb their waters. Demand accounts of your destiny. One closes a book as one closes one's life on oneself. I knocked over the whitewashed puppet on the table and operated, transferring my death to her. The pupil moved to the rhythm of the heartbeat. It is about Shostakovich. People come back in our dreams to bring us their truth, that which our eyes refused to see and for which they burned us in burning themselves. Don't tell Hallett that the truth is an error of reason, for he will at once go to the harbor and get lost in the crowd of travelers. Light blinds the animals. They await the night. She is more likely their Messiah than ours. I went out to see the sea from my terrace. It looked at me. I understood that I mustn't launch myself into its fierce waves. Put out your lights before going to sleep. The sun kissed you, leaving burns on your face. It returned to its solitude, the cult of the dead is but an excuse for leaving the poor to rot in prisons. The cars wait in a virtual clarity and space visited by the divine. The birds sing to candles ears the pain of living for happiness is unbearable. Time was nominated for four prizes, the Griffin International Poetry Prize, which it won, and Best Translated Book Awards, which it won, and also the Lambda and the Pen, for which it was nominated. If you've enjoyed these programs, please consider giving a contribution to Poets House. For more than 30 years, they've kept the door wide open to everyone for the joy of poetry.
Recently, they have temporarily had to shut the door and are reeling from the financial implications. Please give even a small donation if you can. Thank you.